Thank you, Director. Such a touching movie. So next, we are going to have our first uh, panel discussions, Chinese Americans One Mile, moderated by Joe Wong, President of National Asian American United and board member of Silicon Valley Community Media. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Joe. Uh, what a movie. Huh? Unfortunately, it's a little bit, uh, in, in, in the interest of time, we have a big, uh, you know, you, we'll give you the link, you can finish the movie, but you get a gist of it. Right now, I want to welcome Randy Sabadol and the movie maker, Min Zhao, here, so that we can uh, talk about it. What a movie. Um, that's a very rich history of Asian American, Chinese American in this country. We need to tell about the story. First of all, I want to ask the movie maker, Ming Zhao. Uh, I know you, I personally have met Jerry, and unfortunately, uh, we never have a chance to talk about you know, her background. Uh, I know you were motivated to make this movie after you met her. Tell us about some of the interesting things and some of the difficult things that you encounter when trying to research to make this movie. Okay. I think the most interesting thing is that I met Jerry three years ago, and she mentioned the Chinese fishing village history to me. And even though I was not very realized how important this history was, but I just kind of, mm, wait, this is on my list to do. And I will, I will cover this story later. But most challenging thing is that time, fly, time flies. And I didn't have time to catch up the story, and Jerry passed away. So that's why I feel so, so emotional every time when I think about this. I think I owe her such a film. Uh, yeah. uh, Randy, uh, tell us something about more personally, more personal that you and Jerry, you know, as man and wife, when she discover her heritage, when she discover her grandmother, that uh, how, how, how did that happen? Uh. Well, I wasn't sure if it was covered in the documentary, but um, Jerry had some family f uh, relatives come from out of state, and they came to uh, Point Lobos, and Jerry accompanied them, and they were looking in the Whaler's Cove uh, in the cabin, and they saw this picture of these chi this Chinese woman in the back, and they didn't know who she was, uh, but as, this, as the documentary says, uh, Jerry noticed in the background there were, Kwok um, uh, was standing behind or in front of a building that had these wooden slats on it, and Jerry recollect that her grandmother's house had that same thing, so that's when she first was curious about, you know, who is this woman? And that's when she went back home and asked her, her mother about, you know, this Chinese woman. And that's when she found out that Kwok Moy was her great grandmother. And wow. that, that started her on her quest. Wh what a story, yeah? Um, uh, you know, in, um, <laughs> I, I'm very moved about by this, you know. Can you tell me, us something more about her journey or discovering her? A heritage, her ancestor? Well, Jerry had a you know, difficult time in trying to find the history from her own relatives, as the documentary says. She would talk to her relatives, her aunt, as I said in the, you know, in the documentary. She has an aunt who's hundred and just turned 107, and she's still alive. And Jerry would go and talk to her and ask her about the village. And her aunt would, would refuse to talk about it. She'd just say, you know, that's past history. We don't want to bring that up. Why are you talking about this? Um, and, you know, Jerry kept, you know, talking to her about it. And she would get bits and pieces of information. But um, she was really amazed that her family didn't talk about it and that she found out about it, you know, basically by accident. Mm. Um, and it always bothered her, I think, in a bit that, you know, that her family was not comfortable in talking about what had happened to them. Uh, Min, uh, you dug up a whole lot of history here, there. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey, you know, who do you have to meet to get all this history uh, documented on the film? Okay, so in the process of producing this film, the first person on tech 
with Randy. Because I think, oh, yeah, I, I got I got to approach to him, let him know I would like to make a story about Jerry, because I owe Jerry such a film. And Randy was very, very hospital and very friendly. I still remember two years ago, I participated in the, the banquet, right? The banquet in Monterey Bay to commemorate Jerry's life, to celebrate her life. And I was invited, and and that's a time to meet a lot of people. And I approached the, each of them, each of them, and say, "I'm going to make a story. Can you help me? Can you accept my interview?" And if if somebody say yes, I would just say, "Okay, what time? What date?" <laughs> so just a step, a step by step, closer to the people. And I think um, I think I have interviewed Randy for at least six times, right? At least six. And these are six times. I really appreciate that because every time I know for Randy, recording uh, Jerry is kind of painful, right? But Randy is just so collaborative and he opened up his family story and Jerry's family story over and over again to me. No matter what I approach him, he always gave me first response. So I think without Randy's help, I won't be able to make this film. Right, and also this is what you just uh, just saw is a short documentary about this fishing village history. Actually, the history is, is kind of 150 years longer. So I'm doing a feature documentary about this fishing village. So please continue to support me. <laughs> Randy, uh, this must be very personal to you, the story. Uh, I know that your eyes are welling up, and this is okay. <laughs> Man can cry, uh, can shed a tear too. Uh, I know you miss Jerry a lot. Uh, what do you hope, you, you know, to carry on her heritage? Uh, what what will you do? Uh, this is uh, very difficult for me because um, this coming Thursday will be two years since Jerry passed away. Um, so September is, is very difficult for me. But um, what's made it a little bit more bearable is that um, I uh, will be a grandfather for the first time uh, in September. Uh, and it's going to be a, a baby girl. Her name is going to be Catherine. And I can hardly wait to tell her about her uh, grandmother. Um, she had so much um, impact on the you know the community in Monterey. Um, she was an educator. Um, um, I, you know, we were married for 42 years, um, so it is it is still um, painful for me to to watch this documentary. But it, um, I appreciate you know all the work that men did. <laughs> you know. So how long? did it take you to make this documentary? Uh. Pretty soon. Because <laughs> for this film, I've been working like over two years. Okay. And I'm thinking in the late of August, no, late, late October, I will collect my production team again and we'll rush to Monterey Bay. Be ready, ready. Okay. <laughs> and uh. there's a good news to, to share with you uh, as I close in my statement. Uh, in my feature documentary, there is an important scene. You know, uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium, they named a penguin, a baby penguin, Jerry. <laughs> to film this scene, to film this scene, my team covered 1,200 miles one day, because we had to rush back from El Paso, Texas, to Monterey Bay, and we only had one, one day, but we did it. So. Please wait for my new film about the, the baby penguin named Jerry. Thank you. Very well. Uh, in the in interest of time, I'm going to close my interview here. I just want to put a little bit of commercial because Ding Ding TV, Silicon Valley Community Media are going to have a whole video contest of telling Asian American stories. We'll talk to you a little bit more about and hopefully all of you can join our, you know, um, our, our, our contest and promote it and 
let the story of Asian American be told. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. <laughs>